All right, I'm Nick. Today, we're going to spend some time shooting the Smith & Wesson MMP 2.0 carry comp. Uh, I'm still waiting to get my hands on that Shield Plus. We just finished up shooting a bunch of rounds through the SIG Fuse. I have really been wanting to shoot this. I really didn't want to shoot the Fuse yesterday. If you haven't watched other videos, you should be able to tell that I'm a big fan of this platform, okay? Uh, so, we got 100 rounds loaded up in various magazines, so we'll have to do no reloading. We moved some targets. Uh, I didn't really like that over there. I felt like it wasn't far enough away. And this way we can engage some targets in different locations and see how the pistol performs. Uh, I didn't zero this red dot. This is a red dot that came off of the 3.6 inch version of an MMP 2.0. So I'm just gonna check it real quick, make sure it's close and go to town. It's just so smooth. Dead center. Well, let's see what happens. Gotta look carried away. I knew this magazine had the least amount of ammo in it, so I shot it first. This is the factory magazine that came with it. The rest of them are from a different M&P. Uh, these ones aren't broken. Had a question about the slide release for a left-handed person. Very smooth out of the box. And I found it to be true with the metal frames. Uh, with the polymer version, it's designed a bit different and the slide release is pretty stiff. Right. Oh, I pulled that one to the right. I blasted that tree dead center hit on the tree you know uh, I have the other version of this the version before all metal frame no comp no porting I'm a huge fan uh, some people give this trigger crap and say it's not a good enough trigger but it's a carry pistol you don't want a three pound trigger in a carry pistol <laughs> And anyone who says you can't shoot it quickly is, I don't, I don't know. It might have a four and a half to five pound break. We got a scale inside. We can check that. In my opinion, you do not want a carry gun with a three pound trigger. That's crazy. Okay. Ah. She runs smooth, man. I still don't know if that comp's doing much, but those are the last two mags. That was the factory mags, brand new, haven't been shot much. Easy to load, load them with my hand, uh, and they do well. These rounds, or these magazines have a lot of rounds through them, okay? Uh, as far as the trigger goes, it is it has a clean, crisp break, a definitive wall. That's what I look for. The poundage is not nearly as important. <laughs> This is a fine shooting pistol. Ah. I'm gonna. I've been going left to right. I need to go right to left. I've been missing to the right, but I think that's because I'm. I'm already moving. I'm going too fast. It's because I'm a bum. All right. Uh, man, I do love this thing though. We're gonna definitely put a thousand rounds to this. We're gonna put them all through. All on video like we've been doing. If you guys see a problem or a failure, you know, we'll see it here. We'll see it together. Uh, that way, there's full transparency, okay? You know, when a gun runs smoothly, the ammo disappears really fast. We're down to the last 20, 20 or so. It's probably 21 in here. Uh, but man, if you came out with this every day, you shot it, you really got used to it. It's flat shooting. Does the comp help? It has to help somewhat, right? Uh, but I can't tell you it's like life changing or a giant difference. But the gun runs well. The comp, that's a bonus in my opinion. Uh, that's really it. It looks cool though. Remember, this slide is stainless steel, so the original metal frame version is aluminum.
That's crazy. A little right-handed action. Yeah, it's pretty good. Ah, went a little too fast there. If you guys have questions about this thing and you want to see more, just let me know, okay? Uh, I'm a big fan. All right, I sent those two rounds. Those two misses, I sent those high. Just going a little too fast. Remember, those are small targets. They're 7x11 steel plates. Uh, I like shooting the small targets. That way, if you miss, you have a large room for air, okay? Uh, aim small, miss small. It makes, you know, acquiring the target that much harder, which makes, maybe it makes you better. Okay, those are just my opinions. Uh, as far as the gun goes, uh, we're close to 250 rounds in. Shot 100 on film the first time. I guess shot about 34 on film the second time. And just another 100 right there. They go quick when the gun runs well. Uh, I'm super happy, okay? Uh, you guys, we had a question about this right here, which is your chamber indicator being designed a little bit differently. You'll have a tough time seeing this. I could post a picture of it, talk about it at the tabletop some other time. It does, you could say it does a better job. After the first 100 rounds, I did still have carbon and lube on the optic that stuff's not a big deal it's just one thing that gets overhyped complained about you're not looking at the dot like this right you are looking at the target and the dot is appearing on the target so you shouldn't notice anything on there it's no different than putting a piece of tape over here you're shooting with both eyes open that stuff's not that important okay something to consider uh but great shooting gun all right if you guys have questions about it want to see more Leave a comment. Thanks for watching.